Welcome all. Here we are discussing theorem 7.5, Hanbanach separation theorem. Very important theorem. Let x be a normed space over k and even e2 be non-empty disjoint convex subsets of x where e1 is opposite x. Then there is a real hyperplane set of all x element of x such that real part of f of x equal to t in x which separates e1 and e2 in the following sense. That is there is a functional f element of x dash and t element of r such that real part of f of x1 is less than t less than or equal to real part of f of x2 for all x1 element of e1 and x2 element of e2. Okay, let x be a normed space over k. Uh, we will discuss the proof. Let x be a normed space over k and given e1 and e2 are non-empty disjoint convex subsets of x and e1 is opposite in x. We are considering the difference e1 minus e2 that is set of all x1 minus x2 such that x1 element of e1 and x2 element of e2. We know that e1 and e2 are non-empty so their difference is clearly non-empty and e1 is open means that e1 minus e2 is open since by theorem 5.6 a part and e1 intersection e2 is empty given. So uh, from this we can conclude that 0 is not an element of e1 minus e2 because uh, uh, e1 minus e2 contains 0 only if uh, e1 and e2 has a common element okay so 0 is not an element of e1 minus e2 and e1 and e2 are convex implies e1 minus e2 is also, also convex the proof is uh, written there choosing two elements from e1 minus e2 uh, like x1 minus x2 and y1 minus y2 uh, then we can see that the line segment joining these two points is again in E1 minus E2 since uh, E1 is convex and E2 is convex. So E1 minus E2 is convex. Thus we have E1 minus E2 is a non-empty convex open subset of X. Okay. Uh, let us name it as E. E is equal to E1 minus E2 and let capital Y equal to set to 0. Then since 0 is not an element of E1 minus E2, uh, we can clearly see that E intersection Y is empty. Uh, now we are at a stage of all the hypothesis of theorem 7.3 and by applying that theorem we can obtain a linear functional F element of X dash such that real part of F of X is not equal to 0 for every X element of E. That is real part of uh, F of X1 minus X2 is not equal to 0 for every X1 minus X2 element of E1 minus E2. Uh, since f is linear we can split this like real part of f of x1 is not equal to real part of f of x2 for every x1 element of e1 and x2 element of e2. This means that real part of f of e1 is uh, with intersection real part of f of e2 is empty. Since uh, real part of f of x1 is not equal to real part of f of x2 for any two elements x1 and x2 we can conclude their intersection is empty. That means real part of f of e1 and real part of f of e2 are disjoint subsets of r since real part is always a subset of r. So uh, also they are convex subsets of r. Uh, the proof is given uh, like um, choosing x1 and y1 element of e1 uh, we can write since e1 is convex t into x1 plus 1 minus t into y1 is an element of e1. And we apply f on both sides and uh, using linearity split the left side and uh, if you are considering the real part then we also get t into real part of f of x1 plus 1 minus t into real part of f of y1 is an element of real part of f of e1. This means that a real part of f of e1 is convex similarly real part of f of e2 is also convex. Thus we have real part of f of e1 and real part of f of e2 are disjoint convex subsets of R okay and so they must be non-overlapping intervals in R since they are disjoint they are non-overlapping and convex subsets of R means um, they are intervals in capital R okay uh, so they are non-overlapping intervals in capital R so let us assume one uh, the first one real part of f of e1 lies to the left of real part of f of e2 if not just consider f um, or replace f by minus f then we get a real part of f of e1 li lies to the left of real part of f of e2 okay then uh, they are uh, non overlapping intervals and real part of f of e1 lies left to the right of uh, lies to the left of real part of f of e2 uh, now, now we know that f is an element of x dash 
and real part of f is a function from x to r and that is a non zero continuous real linear functional and e1 is open in x then by applying lemma 7.4 we get real part of f of e1 is open in r uh, uh, we already know that real part of f of e1 is an interval and this uh, this means that real part of f of e1 is an open interval in capital r uh, let t be the right hand point of that interval then we can simply write as real part of f of x1 is less than t is less than or equal to real part of f of x2 for every x1 element of e1 and for every x x2 element of e2 since a real part of f of e1 lies to the left of real part of f of e2 this is clearly uh, happens okay that is uh, this means that the real hyperplane uh, which is a hyperplane uh, set of all x element of x such that real part of f of x equal to t that is the real hyperplane uh, that separates e1 and e2 geometrically uh, this means that the real hyperplane uh, separates e1 and e2 means that um, uh, e1 lies on one side of the real hyperplane and e2 lies on the other side okay this is the separation theorem of han banach uh, since it is since it separates two disjoint non empty convex subsets e1 and e2 uh, in which one is open uh, in a sense like this thank you